In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit with you all. And with your spirit. And as we always do, we ask for forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Stir up in your church, O Lord, the spirit that filled St. Joseph at, as he laid down his life for the sheep so that through his intercession we too may be strengthened by the same spirit and not be afraid to lay down our life our life for others. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you are also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift, and he gave some as apostles others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord, and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. For they are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed, Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Holy Father, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, 
that the world may know that you sent me, and that you love them even as you love me. <clears throat> Father, they are your gift to us. I wish that where I am they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you love me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known, that the love with which you love me may be in them, and I in them. And the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's ironic that the... Um, Readings today are all about unity and being together and being one and that God is in us and we are in God and God is in Jesus and Jesus and it's all, we're all together. And St. Joseph Bath is a, an example of how that didn't work uh, because the, I never studied this enough when I was in theology. I don't think I studied it at all. Um, the Eastern Orthodox Church because uh, he was a member of the Eastern Orthodox Church, but he himself was in favor of being part of Rome. But there were other parts of the Eastern Orthodox that were afraid that they would be Latinized and that they would lose their own language and their own identity. Um, and so they literally fought over it. Um, same way that the um, Catholics and Protestants fight over everything and the Jews and um, the Jews fought with a lot of people. Muslims fight over it. Everybody seems to fight over it, and yet the reading from Paul and the reading from the Gospel of John just says we're one body, one spirit, and we're also called to the hope, to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one God and Father of all. And so there are differences between the different religions, but um, you would hope that we could be more unified rather than diverse. Diverse is okay. Unified rather than disunited. Because um, I think that the people that followed Joseph Ad were called the unite, and then the people who didn't follow him were called the disunite. Uh, so they were disunit, um, and you just want to go, come on. People, let's all work together um, for the good of the world. So we ask for for St. Joseph Pat to help us in this time to do the same kind of thing, to bring things together. There is the article in the paper today about the uh, artist in um, Steamboat Springs who put together the stained glass windows in Holy Name Church uh, up there and what was it, 250,000 pieces of glass or something like that. And everybody in the town helped put it together, including both members of the parish and people outside of the parish. And so it's an example of unity. It's an example of working together to give God glory. Uh, it's a very simple example. Um, they didn't kill each other over differences. They came together to put together works of art. So we ask God to be with us as we become more unified. So we bring our prayers before the Lord. I'd like to pray especially for the Eastern churches, uh, both those in union with Rome and those not in union with Rome, that the Lord might continue to bless them. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those who are sick and in need of our prayers, especially those from COVID and their caregivers, for this let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And any prayers you might have. Let's pray for, uh, I'd like to pray for all of our the students and the faculty at school, especially during this time of online learning, <coughs> that uh, God might be with all of us and um, help us to stay focused on our mission of teaching and learning um, and to steadfast in community. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Today is uh, Father General's birthday, so let's pray for him and for uh, uh, Tim McMahon. Think I might bless them and, and help them in their leadership. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
uh, with a sponsorship review of the schools being done right now. We pray for blessings on this process. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for K-137 as we continue to find a spot for it on the calendar. The Lord may bless us. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Pray to, again, this month of November for the novices on retreat. And I'd also like to pray for um, all those who are deceased in our community and for the family members who, can, who uh, grieve them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we bring our prayers before you this evening. We ask you to hear them through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Food of the earth and the work of your hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Food of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And pray that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that St. Joseph had professed by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining through a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Goes on in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and I, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. In the mystery of faith, we proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Samuel, our Bishop, and all who minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Josephat and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And so we pray together the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. To live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And we remind ourselves that Jesus is always with us, even if we can't receive him sacramentally, we ask him to be with us in spirit. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it in eternity, says the Lord. And let us pray. 
May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following St. Joseph's example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And go in peace. Thanks be to God.